Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I am really excited about today's video because this is our very first non-PC building video. Today, we're going to be reviewing the AirPods Max, brand new headphones from Apple. And because everyone is comparing them to Sony XM4s, I'm going to be doing the same. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed today's video. If this video does really well, I might give away the Sony XM4s or the brand new AirPods Max as a giveaway on the channel. Before we get started, let's do a quick unboxing. Since these are sold out and likely to be sold out until Q2 of 2021, I wanted to capture this so you could experience it for yourself. Apple is definitely one of those brands that loves to talk about experiences over specifications, and it's clear that they take it very seriously. Even the packaging quality and materials are normally better than any other product. And I'm not just saying that because I used to work for them. I still have my Apple shirts, but obviously I'm not allowed to wear them on camera. To open the package, we just lift the tab and the plastic just falls off. I got the sky blue color and the two-tone looks absolutely gorgeous on Apple's website and again on the box. Hopefully the actual product lives up to that. In the box, we have the headphones in all their glory. We have the very interestingly designed carrying case some paperwork, a lightning to USB-C charging cable, and of course, no USB-C charging brick. I love that Apple is moving towards USB-C for everything, but it's really frustrating that they haven't added it to the iPhone yet. It would be nice to charge all of my Apple products with the same cable. Anyways, maybe next year. Let's take a look at the headphones. By now, we're used to the aluminum, or should I say aluminum, unibodies that Apple uses for their products. These are no different. The entire ear cup is made from one single piece of aluminum, and you can tell instantly when you touch them. They're actually cold to touch. The finish is what we expect from Apple. Flawless. The ear cups are attached to the stainless steel headband that's covered by this mesh fabric to distribute the weight for comfort. We can test that in a few minutes. One thing that is unique about these are the way you adjust the headphones. The stainless steel slides in and out without a click and it's able to make those micro adjustments to get it just right based on your preference. It's hard to explain but you're not limited to the grooves that you find on most headphones. Let's take a look at the controls. They've added two buttons on the top of the ear cap. There's a button to turn transparency mode on and off but the most interesting part of the controls is the digital crown, borrowed from the Apple Watch of course. The digital crown feels and works the same way as it does on the Apple Watch. You can use it to control volume, skip a track or title, turn on Siri and answer your phone when it rings. The placement is a bit different, but I don't necessarily think that it's good or bad. I think you get used to them after using it for a few days. Okay, so let's talk about the number one reason why people buy headphones. For the sound. And when you talk about the sound, you first have to talk about all the features that Apple's packed into these new headphones. We'll start from the memory foam, which Apple claims to have custom engineered for the perfect seal and comfort. Depending on how well the seal is created around your ears, it creates a more immersive experience. Now let's talk about noise cancellation. So Apple has packed six external microphones that listen to the external noise on the headphones. That just sounds a little bit ridiculous to say. Six external microphones. And if you think that's enough, it's not. Because even inside, they have two internal microphones that are listening to what you're listening to in order to adapt the noise cancellation for the best experience. To reduce distortion as you're listening, they've designed the drivers of the motors in these 
to resemble what you find in floor speakers. That's one of the main reasons why there's little to no distortion even at higher volumes. Okay, so let's talk about computational audio. Apple has their H1 audio chip in these headphones. All 10 cores on the H1 chip work together to block outside noise, adapting the sound to fit the seal created around your ears, and also help with spatial audio, which essentially means that you hear things where they're happening if you're watching a TV show or a movie. For example, if something's happening on the right side of the screen, you hear it from the right side, or backwards or front, you get the idea. That's a really good feature if I'm watching a video on my Mac, or if I'm watching a TV show or uh, a movie on my iPad. Overall, I don't think anybody would question the sound quality on these, but are they better than the industry favorites, Sony XM4s? I haven't mentioned Sony so far in this video because I wanted to give you guys a look at the AirPods Max as its own product, not necessarily a direct comparison to the Sony XM4s. But it's fair to do a quick analysis of which ones get you better sound for the money. After all, the Apple AirPods Max costs about $200 more. I asked my fiance to help me out with this. We each picked three songs and we listened to them on the AirPods Max and then on the Sony XM4s. Here's what we found. So one of the things that I was noticing, because my song ended a little early, was how much breakthrough there was. So with the Sony's, I could hear almost all of the songs that she was listening to, pretty much on the same volume as opposed to the Apple ones. I could still hear it, but it wasn't as clear. The other thoughts were that to enjoy kind of same clarity and the same um, same clarity on the songs I was listening to, Lion King on Ice by J. Cole. I had to turn up the volume slightly more on the Sony's as opposed to the Apple ones. Um, I had the volume around probably like 70-75% on the Apple ones versus probably like 85-90%, to 90%, almost all the way up for uh, the Sony ones. What would you pick? Your song, first song. You want me to be honest? Yeah. Well, for that specific song, but I guess because I like bass, probably Sony, but I don't know. Maybe I was listening to the volume song. Yeah, and hopefully it'll clear up in the next, uh, next few songs that you choose. I'm going to go with the Apple ones for this one. Yeah, so I think you know, I paid super close attention to what she said last time, which was uh, the bass was a lot better in the song. I think the bass was a lot higher in the songs. Um, so for my song, Losses by Drake, I was trying to pay attention to, I mean, actually I listened to this song at a lower volume just to kind of make out um, you know, the differences at a, instead of an 80% or 70% volume, maybe like a 50 or 60% volume to see what it looks like. So for me, listening to the Sony's first this time, again, the bass was super high, um, and maybe drowning out a little bit of the softer instruments that she's mentioning. So I think with the Apple ones, even at a lower volume, or even at a higher volume, I got less distortion of the bass, and I was able to hear almost all of the other instruments and the clarity and the spirity in the vocals. Uh, so for me, uh, round two, Losses by Drake, I would give it again to Apple AirPods Pro. Oh, round two, Apple. Cool. Last round, guys. Would you 
same as the same volume again? Like yeah, same volume. Okay. Maybe the camera can pick it up because again, like when she when she had the Sony's and I finished my song earlier, I could hear every word, all the instruments, everything playing. And with the Apple one, again, it was a little bit lower. So maybe it's one of the seals or whatever it is, the way the, the headphones go across your ear. Um, I, for me, again, I, spoiler, Apple wins this round for me again, simply because I paid extremely close attention to kind of being able to distinguish between all the different sounds that are playing in the background, right? So my song, Who's Stopping Me, uh, by Big Sean has you know an acoustic guitar in the background. There's a beat and uh, it, you know, obviously drums and all these different instruments going on the back, and, and obviously he's rapping on there as well. So for me, it was how much of that can I listen to at the same time? There's no doubt the Sony is obviously it was an amazing listening experience. Um, I would say you know probably um, really good headphones, probably the king of the headphones before this one. But I think there might be a new champ. I'm gonna give it to Apple, all three rounds. Uh, yeah, so I'm listening to different music. Um, I would say the song I was just listening to, uh, Eternal Summer by The Strokes. A um, little bit of a, I guess, funkier pop rock song. And uh, I feel like I was able to get deeper sounds in the Sony. Um, and I enjoyed listening to it more Sony because I guess of the deeper sounds, but if I wanted to not disrupt my neighbors, then you know, I can understand why you would want to go with Apple. But for, you know, if you're listening to more bassy, funkier songs, I feel like the Sony would win. Yeah. And I guess the, 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 the noise cancellation on both is you know, flawless because our cats were running around chasing each other and we were we couldn't hear, at least I couldn't hear any of it on either headphones. Um, so if you saw our, you know, our eyes wandering back and forth, it was literally tracking the cats to make sure that they wouldn't knock something down and break something. Um, another thing I would say is I was thinking it through is um, is comfort on the headphones. You know, you, you definitely feel the weight of the stainless uh, aluminum body on the Apple headphones, for sure. Um, they were still super comfortable. Um, but they were definitely heavier than the Sony's. But on the other hand, I could feel my ears getting a little bit warmer um, for the two songs that I wore the Sony's back to back versus the two songs that I wore the Apple ones back to back. I wasn't necessarily feeling that. So maybe maybe it's the material that's less breathable or maybe it's the size of the headphones, but I thought overall they were probably equally as comfortable um, despite the Apple ones being a little bit heavier, these ones kind of causing my ears to heat up a little bit more. So, um, another thing is when you're putting these on with the Sony's, I was always looking at the right and the left ear, so I had to make sure I, you know, I wasn't picking it up the wrong way to place it on the ear, because that obviously makes a difference. Versus Apple, um, their design is, you know, you can go either way, so you don't have to worry about which way you're putting them on. Um, each of the, 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 the microphones in there kind of uh, adapt to the seal that's being formed by the, the ear cap, so it really doesn't matter which way you put it on, which is kind of neat, so. I've already been wearing my mom's whip chain. No, you were wearing ratchet. Oh, okay. Okay. For the microphone test, I'm gonna keep things really simple. I'm just gonna record a video on each of the phones that are paired up to each of the different headphones and then compare the audio later. Hey guys, testing the microphone on the new AirPods Max from Apple. Uh, this is what it sounds like. Um, you know, I, I actually hear myself a little bit with the um, the transparent mode turned on, so um, I can better judge the audio myself. But hopefully, it sounds good. Um, we'll compare it to the uh, Sony uh, XM4s and see which one sounds better. Hey guys, have the Sony XM4s on now, testing out the audio as well. Um, I will say I, I hear a little bit less of myself um, with no active transparent mode that I am aware of, at least on the XM4s. Uh, but still, I can hear myself relatively sounds good. Hopefully it comes across to 
uh, you on the camera or on YouTube watching, um, this is what you'll sound like if you're using the Sony XM4s for anything audio as far as calls or conference calls or whatever. And again, we'll be comparing it to the um, Apple AirPods Max, the very new Sky Blue Edition. Keep watching. Hey guys, um, I have my fiance in the background with a hair dryer. Just wanted to simulate um, what the audio would sound like because it's supposed to be singling out my voice um, and it kind of, you know, uh, blocking out the background noise. So here's what it sounds like um, on the Apple AirPods Max. Hey guys, uh, same test on the Sony XM4. So I have my fiance with. Uh, a hair dryer going in the background, looking at um, kind of figuring out how the audio will sound. Will it kind of focus on my voice and cancel out or block out the noise in the background? But this is how the Sony XM4s will be sounding with a little bit of background noise in the back. So let's compare the two. Hey guys, I'm back on the AirPods Max. So you guys heard how the AirPods Max and the XM4 sound on the microphone as you're using them. So for me, I thought the AirPods Max did a little bit better job in terms of giving me that clarity of voice. Um, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to give it to the AirPods Max again um, just for that clarity. So um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. If, um, if the Sony sounded better, I would love to hear um, your reasons for why. Anyways, let's jump into the battery. This section won't be the longest one, but I think it's an extremely important factor when making a decision between what headphones you're going to buy. I've personally been on flights that are longer than 18 hours, so it's good to know that the AirPods Max will last me the entire flight. They come in at a battery life of 20 hours, but while testing, I actually got close to 22 hours. I think this is probably something that will get better with the next generation of the headphones considering Apple does have Beats headphones with larger battery life. But I don't expect them to be something ridiculous like 35 hours plus considering some of the features these headphones have are not found in the Sony or Beats. We'll talk more about the features later. We also need to talk about the carrying case here. The headphones don't have an on off switch. When you put them in the case, they go into this ultra low power consumption mode to preserve battery. You would hope that they would do that either way if you just leave them out, but that's not the case. Excuse the pun. I hope Apple can bring out a software update that would put them in the ultra low power consumption mode if they're not being used for more than five minutes instead of the two hours. So let's talk about the main reason why Apple's getting a lot of pushback for the AirPods Max. Well, apart from the weird looking case, it's the price. These cost a whopping $550. And yeah, that's expensive, but it's Apple. In 2020, in December 2020, you might be watching this in 2021. Why is this a shock to anybody? It's Apple. To be fair to Apple, this is a product that does have features that the Sony XM4 or similar priced headphones in, in the Beats lineup don't have. Things like computational audio. It is a better looking product in my opinion. It's also made of premium materials like the aluminum and the stainless steel. And of course you're paying the Apple premium. Also for those discounting these in terms of its value or what they might be able to do in the industry, I think you're forgetting about how many people are actually locked into Apple's ecosystem. And you might say, yeah, well, not everybody has an iPhone or an iPad, but the opposite is also true. A lot of people do have iPhones and iPads, and the ease of use of these with the iPhone or with the iPad, you just put them on, no need to connect to Bluetooth or anything. They're always on unless they're in the case. Um, it's, it's a huge factor. The fact that these are $550 and they're still sold out until sometime next year should tell you everything you need to know about the pricing. Apple could have probably priced these at $650 and they would have still been sold out. And not to forget, Apple got a lot of pushback on the AirPods, the AirPods Pro, and the Apple Watch when they first came out. And those products are one of the most successful products for Apple. Not to mention that consumers love those products. I think the AirPods Max will do really well. The sound is great, the finish is nice, they look premium, and they're extremely comfortable to use. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please remember to leave a like. Let me know what you guys think about the AirPods Max, if you're gonna be interested in purchasing them. 
or if you're sticking with your Sony's or a different pair of headphones. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. My next video is a gaming computer that I'm giving away on this channel. Talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.